She knows what everything is called, what today's date is, how many apple trees have borne fruit in Maria's garden, how many people have been born in the village from one Christmas to another, and how many have died. In the village council, they look up this kind of knowledge in a book, but Arusha keeps everything in her head. She's better off talking to chickens than to people. The trees understand her, dogs don't bother her, but people, no. People can't leave Darusha alone. But she doesn't want to talk to people because then they'll just give her a piece of candy they know makes her sick. And what do you think about when there's nothing to think about? People in the village sometimes do things that even make Darusha pull her hair out, but for some reason they don't call them touched. But about her, who speaks with the trees and flowers and who just lives the way she wants to live, and though she doesn't do any harm to anyone, they think of her as touched. And if she's really touched, can you tell she's handicapped by looking at her? Phaedro put a saddle on his ram and carried his son to school on it, and no one said that Phaedro was touched, though from that day on the nickname Ramboy stuck to his son. And Stepan one day came from the city on the village church's yearly holiday celebration and bought with, brought with him a big shiny washer of immense proportion. Near the club, the boys were playing dare and Stepan bet a bottle of beer he could put the steel washer onto the uh, foolishness under his pants and after half an hour remove it with no harm done to his <coughs> foolishness. But the foolishness from under Stepan's pants didn't heed Stepan, swelled up and nearly broke off in the skirmish with the washer. So Dimitro the welder ended up cutting off the washer on Stepan's shame with some kind of saw. It took so long that his hands shook because he didn't want to cause damage to Stepan's goods because Stepan was supposed to get married soon. They laughed it up in the village, lamented a bit, but they didn't call Stepan touched. In the village, they think Darusha doesn't understand, so they use the word sweet to her instead of calling her dim-witted. Thanks.